Okay, so one by one, Tony is going to choose who advances in this eight-man tournament and eventually pick the winner. Tony, are you ready to play? Oh, this is a tournament bracket. I love brackets. And I get to pick my guy that advances? You get to pick. Oh, I'm pumped. Let's do this. All right, in the first round matchup, you have Roman Reigns versus CM Punk. Who is advancing and why? Well, it's going to be a tough match. It's going to go back and forth, back and forth. But I got the Tribal Chief. Come on. And good chance that CM Punk will blow his leg out of something anyway. So he'll get pinned and he'll go on the sidelines for eight months. And that'll be it. Are you sure about that? Punk is coming off his biggest win since returning to WWE. And Roman Reigns has gotten his ass kicked by Zola Sokoa. That's CM Punk's only win, basically, since he returned from AEW to WWE since he's been hurt. You give me the Tribal Chief to advance over CM Punk in the first round. Okay, fair enough. Let's jump over to the other side of the bracket where friends turned enemies, Kevin Owens and Randy Orton go at it one-on-one. -on -one. Tony, who advances here and why? Wow, this is a tough one. You got Kevin Owens. The whole world is against him right now. And the Viper Randy Orton in a one-on-one -on -one match. I'm going to go with a little bit of an upset here, and I got KO advancing over Randy Orton's in this match. KO is a man without a country. He's all by himself. He's going to reach down deep, and he's got something to prove to everyone. Whether you think he's a heel and he turned or he's not, I got Kevin Owens defeating Randy Orton in a little bit of an upset in round one. I like it, Tony. I like a little bit of an upset call. You need a Cinderella run in a tournament, right? No, and he's not really a Cinderella. Head-to-head, -head, Randy or Kevin, who would win that match? I bet if you ask 100 people, you might get a 60-40 or a 50-50. I think most people would lean Randy, but I like the Kevin Owens pick. Now let's get a little bit of a preview of Crown Jewel. Gunther versus Cody Rhodes, first-round matchup. Wow, what a first-round matchup. How did these two number one seeds hit in the first round? I don't know. This is a tough one. It's a coin flip. You know You know what? Gunther head? Gunther head. I got Cody Rhodes finding a way in this match to beat Gunther. He's going to reach down deep. The last two years, he's been hardened. He's been through so much. You know what? Cody over Gunther, give it to me. It's going to be a fun matchup in the next round. But first, Seth Rollins, Drew McIntyre, finish out the first round for us, Tony. I'm going to go with Seth freaking Rollins gets over Drew McIntyre in the first round and beats him. Drew's been the man this past year. I don't know. If you know what? And he's been battered. He's been through a lot. I'm basing it on this tournament is next week. After everything that's gone on, I got Rollins beating McIntyre and advancing in this tournament, which is a tournament of champions. This is a tough bracket. Now, on one side of the bracket now, you have Roman Reigns and Cody Rhodes. And on the other side, Seth Rollins versus Kevin Owens. So let's start with Roman Cody. This would be Roman Cody 3. You know, they've both won at Mania's the past couple of years, so who would advance in this uh, tournament and why? I'm a big Tribal Chief guy. I love Roman Reigns. I think that he's just beginning to, you know, come back now, and he's going to be next year one of the guys that's going to be winning the titles back and stuff. I got Roman Reigns defeating the American Nightmare and advancing in this tournament. Okay, so Roman advances to the finals. Who is he going up against? Kevin Owens versus Seth Rollins on the other side of the bracket. Wow, this is a tough one. You got Owens with all of, I said, man without a country. He's by himself. He's fighting for a purpose. He wants to be relevant. He wants to show everyone he deserves to be up there with all the big wrestlers. He got through the first round. He's going to run out of steam. And Seth freaking Rollins is going to defeat Kevin Owens and move on to the final. I thought you were going to give us an upset run right there. I thought Kevin Owens was going to shock the world. Nope. Upset run comes to an end. So it comes to an end, and that leads to a shield reunion of sorts in the finals when Seth Rollins takes on Roman Reigns' match, I'm sure. We would all love to see again. Tony, who walks away from this battle of former brothers? Seth is going to find a way when his brother, Dean Ambrose, shows up in the corner and the and Roman is mystified, and Dean is going to help him, and he's going to beat Roman and win the title. Seth wins the title. So this is, an in, this is a cross-promotion. We're cross-promoting AEW and WWE? This is the beginning. The beginning of AEW and WWE doing some interchanging or helping. You heard it here first. Seth Rollins wins the tournament. Seth Rollins wins the tournament over Roman Reigns with help from his former Shield brother, John Fox. Okay, so that's how Tony the Father would book the tournament, but how would you book the tournament? Let us know. You can also follow us on X, Instagram, and TikTok at It's Real to Us. And on YouTube, if you haven't already, please like, 
subscribe and ring the bell for notifications because if you're a wrestling fan, you're going to love this channel. I'm Anthony the Mark. And I'm Tony the Father. And I don't think I did horrible. I thought I was going to do a lot worse than I did. And we'll see you next time on It's Real to Us, the wrestling show. The game show.